hair, going back to the, to the origins of slavery time, hair has always been a marker of difference, has been a marker of racialized difference. Traditionally, what black women have done to their hair has always been read in a political way, since women wore their hair in afros and braids during the black power movement. But one Delaware group says it's a growing trend that more women have sought because of versatility and just overall hair care. You see it not just in the workplace, but in magazines, on TVs, and commercials. I, I can find more people wearing their hair natural than anything else. So I think that I have seen a trend for that. Tawanda Howie decided to ditch hair chemicals in 2009 and started to blog about her natural experience, later forming the group Delaware Naturalistas. Before she knew it, a network of women were following her. University of Delaware professor Tiffany Gill says while more women are going natural, companies are taking notice and even capitalizing on the natural movement by coming up with hair care products aimed at black women. However, she says that doesn't necessarily mean that it's an accepted trend. We can think of that as a victory in some ways, but also um, not to overshadow that there still is discrimination um, against women in certain industries based on how they wear their hair. Professor Gill digs deeper into the politics of hair in the book Beauty Shop Politics. African-American women sort of asserting their hair in their natural state is just a way to reclaim that their natural state of blackness is beautiful. Despite that mindset, Victor Nichols felt forced to cut his hair in the past just to get a job. Now his current employer welcomes his natural hair the way it is. As a result, Nichols shares a popular question he often gets from his coworkers. They don't ask me to cut it. Says, There's no reason why they should. They know why. Because I want to wear my hair like that too. But I don't want to lose my job because of it. This is all too familiar to hairstylist Nicole, who had clients in the past who feared their employers so much they would try to hide their natural hair. I've had people who have had locks, and I would braid them, and they would put on wigs to go to work or put on wigs to, for an interview because you have to, you have to um, go along with what society wants. On the flip side, more hairstylists are now seeing women who hesitated to express themselves naturally finally come out with confidence. Somebody who may have kind of went with the crowd and, and kind of stuck with the straight hair um, may have not accepted um, the beauty of it before, but because I mean, it's, become, it's coming around, people are, are feeling more comfortable with accepting it. No matter where the spectrum of natural hair among black women falls, many believe it's here to stay. A lot of women are trying to instill that positive self-image into their children, um, where, the, where little girls are enjoying to wear their hair curly and out and wild and crazy and not have a care about it. So I think that it's here to stay just because we're starting to pass it on pass on that self-love and respect for yourself and um, the hair that God gave you um, to our children.